In this assignment, I shall be giving you two problems. So the problem sequence number for decision making statements is problem number four and five. In the first problem, I am going to talk about an arithmetic expression evaluation. So the way to read this is y is a function of x and n. That means the value of y depends upon the values of x and n. So based on the values of x and n, you are required to calculate y. Suppose n is equal to 1, okay, then you will, x can get any value and then you will calculate y. So you will say suppose x is 1 and n is also 1, then y is equal to 1 plus 1. So y is equal to 2. n is equal to 2, then you can give some value to x and then it is x upon n. Suppose n is 3, x can take the value like say 7, 8 like that and then you can go ahead and find it out. If n is less than 1 or greater than 3, any other value other than 1, 2, 3, then y is 1 plus n into x. So the best way to understand this is take a look at this sample table. So here what I have done is for different values of n, n is 2, I have given x as 9. So n is 2, this will come. n is 3, this one will get evaluated. And here n is less than 1 or n is greater than 3. Okay, that is when n is 7. In this case, n is 7. So you should go about, write the algorithm, understand what variables you'll need. You'll need y, you'll need x, and you'll need n. I don't think you need any other variables. The next one, this is your school grades. So before taking a look at the problem, assume a school or a class conducts a first term test in five subjects. And these are the marks of some three random students. So based on the marks, you have to determine what is the percentage and then print the grades based on the marks obtained in the five subjects. So if the total average marks or the percentage marks of five subjects is between 0 to 39, you will declare a candidate as fail. If the percentage of five subjects is between 40 to 50, the candidate is a pass class. Between 51 to 60 percentage, he or she is a second class grade. Between 61 to 70, he is a first class grade. And between 71 to 100, that person will be graded as distinction. So take a look at these data values. You will need only one variable or two more variables and you are good to go. So first, a simple tip. Whenever you are given a problem, understand the problem, identify all the variables, spend a little time analyzing and then develop the algorithm. And finally, test your algorithm using the 